Now, last bit of news here. There are only four teams left in, in football right now in the NFL. Denver Broncos, New England Patriots, Char- uh, Charlotte, really, uh, Carolina Panthers, and the Arizona Cardinals. So the offseason has well begun for others. And most of them have questions like who are the most important free agents they need to resign. And that's what we're going to do. Just a few of the big name players from teams that have already been eliminated. This is who they need to resign. Now, the Baltimore Ravens, they have kicker Justin Tucker. And you're thinking, why, why the kicker? Well, just because he was the only bright spot for this Ravens team and one of the few starters who didn't get hurt. In four years, the bo- the former Pro Bowler was uh, is, is at 87.8% of his three-point attempts and is yet to miss a point after attempt, 139 of 139. Not bad at all. Obviously, he needs to be re-signed. And I think we, I think he will. One of the, probably that'll be the highest paid kicker. Uh, wide receiver Alshon Jeffrey of the Chicago Bears. Now, the Bears, I think they've learned from their mistake. They let go of Brandon Marshall. They traded him last offseason to watch him just break records for the Jets and almost make the playoffs. So I'm assuming the Bears have learned their lesson and said, hey, we got Kevin White coming back next year. Should be healthy. We need to give some money to Alshon Jeffrey for him to stay here. Now, while he finished with a team high of 54 catches and a club best of 807 receiving yards, Jeffrey totaled just four touchdowns and played in a career-low nine games due to injuries. So having him, Kevin White, Eddie Royal all be healthy should improve this Bears offense a tad to at least win a few more games. Uh, Free safety Eric Berry of the Kansas City Chiefs, now less than one year after being diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, safety Eric Berry was back on the field in, in 2015. Now, he did great. He finished third on the team with 61 tackles. He knocked down 10 passes and recorded two interceptions. He's also headed to the Pro Bowl for the fourth time in his career. But alongside inside linebacker Derek Johnson and outside linebacker Tamba Ali, Barry is one of the numerous Kansas City Chiefs defenders who could hit the open market this offseason if the Chiefs don't put a big money. Now, they've got a lot of questions. They got to sign these guys, and they're saying, all right, who do we give the big money to? And who, who do we keep now? Eric Berry, obviously, he said the Kansas City is family. He wants to stay. And I believe the Chiefs are going to do everything in their power to offer him a, a suitable contract to keep Eric Berry with the Kansas City Chiefs. And But whether Derek Johnson, Tom Holly stay, it's going to be tough to keep all three. I don't know if they'll keep all three. Uh, as a Chargers fan, I really hope they don't. Any little bit helps, but honestly, I don't know. We suck. Uh, the uh, defensive end, Mohamed Wilkerson of the New York Jets. Now, while he broke his uh, right leg in the team's season finale at Buffalo, a 22-17 loss that would have kept the Jets out of the playoffs, or it did, um, Wilkerson led the team with 12 sacks in 2015, and that was a club that ranked fourth in the NFL in fewest yards allowed and second only to the Seattle Seahawks in rushing defense. So keeping Wilkerson with a young d- defensive line, is must for the New York Jets to continue to keep that defense top notch. Now that you know Ryan Fitzpatrick is very suitable at quarterback and having Brandon Marshall still do their thing, all you got to do is upgrade that offensive line, maybe throw another cornerback in there, is it a safety, and uh, and bam, get another receiver. You're good. You're set. Jets are going to go to playoffs. No, I don't know. Running back Doug Martin of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is another one. Now, as a rookie with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2012, uh, he ran for 1,400 yards, six touchdowns, and finished third in the league with 1,900 yards from scrimmage. But after that, he was derailed by injuries the next two years, and the former Boise State standout totaled 950 yards rushing and three scores in a total of 17 games. This season, he was the comeback player of the year. There's no doubt about it. Martin rebounded in a big way as he finished second in the NFL with 1,400 yards, just 83 yards short of the league leader Adrian Peterson. Uh, last offseason, the Bucks failed to pick up the fifth option, and honestly, I don't know if it's really a fail because, well, I mean, he really didn't do that much, and he was hurt multiple times. 
But obviously, with the huge year and saying, okay, he's he's truly back. We found something. He fits this offense perfectly. They're going to try to lock him up pretty soon. And finally, quarterback Kirk Cousins, Washington Redskins. Now, after two seasons of turmoil at quarterback position, Washington have indeed found their man, and that is their 2012 fourth-round draft pick, Kirk Cousins. Uh, Now, they need to get him under contract. It's pretty funny because in that same draft, in the first round, they traded up to get some guy named... um, oh yeah, RG three, Robert Griffin the third, a Heisman Trophy winner. Um, that fre- his I was gonna say freshman year, his his rookie year did great, took him to the playoffs, but couldn't get the job done. So now the fourth fourth year signal caller completed a league best sixty nine point eight percent of his passes this season, throwing for four thousand one hundred sixty six yards and twenty nine touchdowns compared to just fourteen turnovers. But he finished the season pretty well other than the playoff loss. In the final three regular season games, Cousins threw for 11 touchdown passes without an interception, but it was sacked six times uh, in the 35-18 to 18 loss to the Packers in the wild card round. The, um, but he did throw for 329 yards, and he ran for a touchdown, threw a touchdown. Not bad. Not bad. But he's going to need some help, obviously, with that offensive line. And... Uh,